Moving forward, three line abreast are Sham Blue, Espada Rome, and the big breakaway. Three miles and a furlong over the mild May course here. 19 fences to jump, and they're off. Sham Blue on the inside of Espada Rome in the noseband, the white blazed big breakaway out wide. Followed by Empire Steel, the grey in the centre. Chantry House in the white cap on the inside from Fiddler on the roof. And Sporting John in the green white starred cap is the back marker over fence number one. On now to the second. And Sham Blue and Espada Rome coming up well. A, a little bit of a stumble from Sporting John at the back in these very early stages. Long run between... The second last and the last fence down the home straight. Sham Blue, Espada Rome, uh, the big breakaway out wide of Empire Steel. And then Chantry House on the inside as they take this one. And then Fiddler on the roof and Sporting John is pushed al along, uh, pushed away from that fence at the back. Long way to go, however. Two circuits ahead of them. And Espada Rome. And David Bass on the outside of Sham Blue. Chantry House round the inside of Empire Steel. The big breakaway, Fiddler on the roof held up. And finally, Sporting John. About to turn into the back straight and a line of four fences. And the third of these is an open ditch and it's Espada Rome on the outside of Sham Blue as they near the next. Great jump from Sham Blue, who's often been an exuberant jumper all season. Followed by Empire Steel, Chantry House, the big breakaway, Fiddler on the roof and Sporting John. On to the next. Espada Rome comes in to take it from Sham Blue, about three or four lengths between them. And now onto this open ditch. Espada Rome by maybe five lengths now to Sham Blue. Empire Steel on the outside with Chantry House in between runners, then the big breakaway. Fiddler on the roof, the big breakaway's stable companion is second last and then Sporting John jumping the last in the back straight. So Espada Rome out in front under a positive ride here, typically positive ride from David Bass. Leads by four lengths to Shamblu on the inside of Chantry House and Empire Steel is three wide as they swing left-handed. And now running down the side towards this cross fence. With Fiddler on the roof towards the back along with Sporting John. And over that one, Sporting John needing to be pushed along intermittently at the back of the field, not really traveling. Though this was the case earlier in the season before he won at Sandown, so he can finish off. Oh, no, no, it's not going to be good news. He's being pulled up, Sporting John. Sporting John never really traveling. Pulls up. Espada Rome is over the next, ahead of Sham Blue. Then Chantry House, Fiddler on the roof, the big breakaway, and Empire Steel. As they head on towards this next open ditch. And Espada Rome jumping well. So to Sham Blue in second place. And then Chantry House, looking back, Sporting John hasn't been dismounted or anything. He seems absolutely fine. He just wasn't going as they head on now towards this next lane fence in front of the stands. Espada Rome from Sham Blue. Empire Steel on the outside of Chantry House, the big breakaway, and Fiddler on the roof next to the running rail as they clear that one. So little more than four lengths, five lengths would cover the remaining six runners in this Betway Mild May Novices chase with a circuit left to travel. Espada Rome and Sham Blue have been first and second throughout so far as they turn away from the grandstands. Followed by Fiddler on the roof, nipping round the inside of Chantry House, Empire Steel and the big breakaway. So on now towards the four fences again into the back straight. Then one down the side and another three down the home straight. Eight left to jump. Espada Rome and David Bass seeing a stride here. A lovely stride. A good jump. Better jump than Sham Blue. Not uh, his most exuberant effort there. Empire Steel is pushed along. So too the big breakaway. 
Maybe a little bit of injection of pace here by the leader. Going towards the next. And he's seen one again, has he? No shortening. Good jump from Chamblou. Espoir de Rome from Chamblou. Chantry House is now a clear third. The others are struggling somewhat. Fiddler on the roof in fourth. Then Empire still over the next open ditch. The leader was long there. Espoir de Rome reaching for it from Chamblou. Then Chantry House. The big breakaway is not going at all. Empire still seems likely to be pulled up, jumping the last in the back straight. So this field are really thinning out here. And it's Espoir de Rome who continues to apply a great deal of pressure from Chamblou in second. Chantry House, however, is still well in touch in third, soon to be going into new territory over the extended three-mile trip. And these three are well clear of the others. Fiddler on the roof is fourth. As they run down towards the cross fence, this is four out. Coming into it, Espoir de Rome from Chamblou. Then uh, in third, Chantry House, and then Fiddler on the roof. Uh, the big breakaway is pulling up. And I think Empire Steel has been pulled up as well. So heading for home now, three fences left to jump, and Espoir de Rome continues to serve it up to them. But here comes Chantry House. Chamblou has been dropped back in third, over three out. Espoir de Rome by about two and a half, three lengths. Chantry House second. Nico de Boinville getting to work now on Chantry House as they move on towards the final open dish. And this is two out. Espoir de Rome comes into it and gets it and gone. He's gone when holding the lead. And Chantry House is left a long way clear now as they race on towards the final fence. And it's Chantry House with a massive lead over Chamblou and Fiddler on the roof. David Bass gets to his feet. And now on towards this final fence, the long run to it. Espoir de Rome is absolutely fine. Chantry House at the last and jumps it really well. Chantry House well clear of Chamblou over in second and Fiddler on the roof needs to jump it to collect for third. So Chantry House up towards the line, going to follow up his Cheltenham win. Now he wins at Aintree in the Betway Marlme. In second, Chamblou and Fitter on the roof will be the last one to finish in third place. Sixth victory for Nicky Henderson in this Betway Marlme novices chase. And you fancy that Henderson and Du Bois...